For it TV, the world is thinking. What would you offer as a, as a solution? Could you or? To, to American creationism? No, to the, to the, the problem, the, the continual conflict that is there between the, the two sides. From a well, philosopher I, I, and a scientist, yeah. what would you say? Well, my personal feeling is that often this is not a theological debate. It's much more a cultural and social debate about ways of living, if you like. I mean, it's certainly not, it's certainly not so much a debate about evolution. I really, truly don't believe anybody lay awake or lies awake at night and says, oh my God, I worry about Archaeopteryx. You know, how am I, how, you know, Archaeopteryx destroys my belief in a creator god. Uh, you know, my salvation is destroyed because of, our, you know, or trilobites. I just don't think that happens. But the, what is the big debate? It, the big debate is abortion, gay marriage, uh, all, capital punishment, all of these sort of social issues. And I think that what has happened is that evolution has become a kind of flag for these. As it were, you know, it's, it, evolution represents one side rather than the other. And I mean, I, I really wouldn't ask anybody to spend their time reading creationist stuff unless you have to. But what fascinates me is that when I read creationist stuff, about halfway through the book, if not earlier, evolution has been dropped. And now what you know, people like Philip Johnson are doing is they're going on now about abortion or the decline of marriage. Oh, one thing which always used to fascinate me is why do they keep going on about cross-dressing? You know, did they honestly think that, you know, Ed Wilson, Richard Dawkins, Michael Roos go home at night and say, dear, I've had a hell of a day. I'd like a dry martini, and I think I'll put on my pink bra, bra and panties. You know, I mean, well, I can't speak for Richard Dawkins, but I know I don't. <laughs> no. What they're worried about is Hillary Clinton in a pantsuit out there in Peking, you know, taking on a man's role. And that's what they find deeply threatening. Is, is that. So my personal feeling is the way to look at a lot of this debate is not as a theological one or even an evolutionary one, but more a social one. And unless and until we can find some way of bridging that kind of gap. Now, I take, I mean, in America, I, I do take a certain comfort in the fact, for instance, that a lot of the younger evangelicals are starting to say, yeah, we agree about abortion, but can we please talk about global warming? And so, to a certain extent, I mean, I take the whole Obama phenomenon is, is a good thing. I'm, I'm hoping that what we're going to see is not the vanishing of the extremes, but at least maybe more of a movement, a, a, a louder, you know, voice in the middle.